Okay, so here we are going into virtual space, and here I want to show you a little application where we've got a car, engine. You can be any size. back to VR News where we look into what the future holds for the community and the world. Today we won't be looking at a lot of news, we will only be focusing on the Oculus Quest 2. Yes, the Oculus Quest 2 has been leaked before and now it's actually real. We knew it was real first from the leaks that came out, all those photos looked way too real to be fake. So anyway, let's get into the specs of the Oculus Quest 2. Product weighs just about 103 grams, tracking of course supports 6 degrees of freedom, head and hand tracking through the integrated Oculus Inside technology at a really reasonable price. Just the storage 64 gigabytes, it will cost $299 and that's crazy. They, they made it go down by a lot. It's insane what they can do when they put their mind into it. Or you can get the 256 gigabyte version for $399. The display panel is fast switch LCD panel. Display resolution is 1832 by 1920 per eye. So that's 2K per eye, which is, if you think about it, is crazy. That's better than index. That's actually insane. They put a lot of effort into this Oculus Quest 2. The refresh rate is 72 hertz at launch, but it can support 90 hertz to come. So, which means in the future, you will be able to run a 90 hertz. So far, it's a 72. Some people can tell the difference. Some people can't. 90 hertz will be great in the future. Now, here it is. A Snapdragon XR2. An XR2. That's insane. The audio is, as always, integrated speakers and microphone, which uh, made the price a little lower, of course, because the speakers in the Quest aren't the best. From the first one coming to the second one, people say it sounds more as a 3D stereo sound in a way. The RAM is six gigabytes. Battery life are expected to be two to three hours and depends on what content you use while playing the Quest 2. If you're watching media like YouTube and Netflix, you should be able to run at three hours for the battery life. It will be coming with a head strap with a battery pack so you guys can buy that separately. Now the IPD adjustment, I'm a big sucker for IPD adjustments. There's three settings, 58, 63, and 60. 68 millimeters now this could be really good for some people this could be really bad for some people because they could be in between from 63 and 68 millimeter and they could be in between like 65 and they will see a little blurriness while they look at the screen now the play space is of course room scale dimensions is 9 12 centimeters per controller including tracking ring so those are the new vr controllers for the quest 2 they they kind of got a little bit of inspiration from the first oculus rift cv1 and i think they look great i think they will feel great the weight of the controllers is 126 kilograms no battery included with that and it requires a two aa batteries included in the box of course it's a standalone headset so you will be able to play games without wires which is always a great thing so the oculus 2 elite strap with battery and carrying case will cost you 129 dollars the oculus link cable for the headset will be coming out from beta is 79 dollars the vr covers facial interface will be costing you about 30 dollars and if you want a separate headset from what you have or you want to buy one for the quest it will cost you a hundred dollars so all in all the oculus quest 2 is a beast but but the accessories will cost you a large amount like the oculus link cable which is understandable why it would cost so much i can't wait for the games that are coming out for the oculus quest and of course a lot of them will be migrating so the new ones that are coming out is uh, actually jurassic world from universal studios i found this crazy i think it looks fun and i would love to play this game saints and sinners the walking dead is coming out to oculus quest this is something Thing people were waiting for for very long and looking out the gameplay of people on YouTube it's something that you can actually play it doesn't look bad at all the graphics are good and, and I think the gameplay will be fun for everyone Star Wars is finally getting in into the Oculus Quest 2 soon and I can't wait for it Medal of Honor will be coming out in December which uh, I'm kind of bummed for that I thought it would be coming at least early next month October 
but I guess it will be coming out in December. Now, here's the time for the Oculus Quest 2 compared to the Oculus Quest and also compared to the Valve Index, HTC Vive Cosmos, HP Reverb G2. Let's compare. So the starting price, $299 versus the original $399. Valve Index is $999. Vive Cosmos, $699. HP Reverb G2, $599. Quest 2, 1832, 1920. The first Quest, 1440 by 1600. Valve Index, 1440 by 1600. Vive Cosmos by 1440 and 17. HP Reverb, 2160 by 2160, which is insane. Now, the display for the Oculus Quest is 1832 by 1920, which is insane. It's almost as good as the HP Reverb G2 that will be coming out, but it is better than the Valve Index. I find that insane. Now, just looking at the display resolution, we can obviously see that it beats Oculus Quest, Valve Index, and even the HTC Vive Cosmos. The only thing that's keeping it below is the HP Reverb G2 on 2160 by 2160. Yeah, the Oculus Quest 2 is in a good top two right now. Screen refresh rate is 72 at launch, will be coming out with 90 hertz soon. The first Oculus Quest was 72, Valve Index 80 hertz to 144 hertz, Vive 90 hertz, HP Reverb to 90 hertz. The regular Oculus Quest is below the Oculus 2, which is not a surprise. Of course, they will make the Oculus Quest 2 a lot better than the regular Oculus. Weight. 503 grams for the Quest 2. Regular Quest, 571 grams. Valve Index, 809. HTC Vive Cosmos, 645 grams. HP Reverb G2, 550. It wins at being the lightest headset out of all of these. Tracking internal cameras, internal cameras for the regular Quest. Index, external Steam VR towers, which cost a lot of money. Vive Cosmos, internal cameras. HP Reverb, internal cameras. So internal cameras are a standard now in the VR community and the Quest 2 is following that battery capacity is really comparable to the first quest it's not too much of a difference two to three hours for the quest two two to three hours for the regular quest and the valve index of course and then the vive cosmos and hp reverb are pc headsets so they don't really have a battery capacity processor for the quest 2 is a snapdragon xr2 the quest a snapdragon 835 so obviously quest 2 is beating that by far valve index doesn't have one vive doesn't have one and hp doesn't have one ram six gigabytes for the quest 2 regular quest four gigabytes valve vive and hp don't storage 64 256 so you can buy two versions quest the first quest 64 to 128 gigabytes and the rest they don't have storage bigger games are coming out like the walking dead and all these big games are coming out to the standalone headset so they need bigger storage so for example a game like marvel for the oculus rift is actually like 55 gigabytes which is insane so that's that's literally all of the 64 gigabytes like you can you can't even buy anything else really is a facebook account required uh yes yes for the quest 2 it comes along with it you need a facebook required account so just looking at all of that we can safely say that quest 2 is a big upgrade even when compared to PC. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smack that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I'll see you all next week. Peace out. That when you experience it, it's something that uh, you know people come out the system and say, "Wow, that's unreal." It's me. It's me. Hi. Okay, okay. Okay. How about this? You. Uh... I got nothing. Go. <laughs>